Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to use GeoGebra to write and graph an exponential model for a particular set of data. So, uh, the data that I have here is the population of the United States at different years, 1970, 1980, 1990, etc. And uh, we want to plot these first, so we're going to create a scatter plot. Um, to do that, we're going to say that we're going to start at 1970, so 1970 will be represented by 0, 1980 by 10, etc. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. So 0 for 1970, 209.5. Our next point is going to be 10 to represent 1980, 229.5 million. Our next point is going to be for 1990, that's 20. 252.1 and you get the idea we're going to continue with 30 for nine for 2000 with 281.7 next one's going to be 40 uh, 309 and next one's going to be 50 331 okay so now we have a scatter plot for our population what we're going to need to do next is we're going to start typing here the following. We're going to start typing fit. And on that list, we're going to find the function that we're trying to do, which is exponential. So fit exp, we're going to select that. And what you need to do now is type in the points that we have. So A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm going to press enter. And you're going to see that it's going to give you the equation for that exponential model, which is 209.79 times e to the power of 0.01x, which is that model that's going to best fit the data. And uh, our next question here is to predict the population in 2030. So 2030 is 60 years after 1970, our starting point. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to type an f, which is the name of our function here, that the GeoGebra and give it name and we're going to type in 60 so f of 60 and our estimate is going to be 368.76 so right here we can type 376 I'm sorry 368 68 having trouble typing 68.76 million people right and the last question that we have, when will the population reach 400 million? So to do that, the, the best thing to do is to type in y equals 400 to represent a line that's going to give us our threshold of 400 million. And then we're going to find the intersection of these two functions, which is going to give us the x coordinate here. So what we do here is we're going to start typing intersect. And it's going to give us different options here. The first one you can use. It's the easiest one. Uh, all it's asking you to do is select two uh, functions. And our exponential model has a name f. And then our... Let me select this. I'm going to have to write this here. So here we're looking for the name of our line. The name of our line is right here. It's g. I'm going to type g. I'm going to press enter. So 68.65, about 69 years later. So then it's going to happen 69 years after 1970, which will be about 2030, um, 69, 69 years. So about 2000, sorry, 2000, 2000. Uh, 39 right because 69 years after uh, 1970 would give you the year uh, 2039 okay and that is how it's done